Hi everybody, it's Janet with Fruit of the Vine Art Studio. Thank you for joining me tonight. It's a beautiful Wednesday evening here, and it's quite warm in Cincinnati. I'm not sure about where you're at. We are uh, in the 80s today, so for us, that is quite a warm day for early May. But it's beautiful out there. We got a chance to take the dog out and go for a walk this afternoon. It was very nice outside. Walked by the river. Let me see if I can find it here. There we go. That way, when you pop on, I'd love it if you'd say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. I'd really love to get some comments, make sure I'm on the right page. Anyway, um, as my little teaser said, you know, Mom tells you, don't play with your food. But does she ever say anything about what you could do with the utensils? Tonight, we're going to do something a little different. And actually, it's an experiment. We're going to see how this works. I'm going to use these three things right here plus some paper towels, as usual. I'll use some paper towels and some paint, and we're gonna create something a little bit different on this canvas. So, it's just for fun. We'll see how it works. I hope it works out great. I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out. Gonna use the fork and a spoon and a knife, plastic. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna get you zoomed in down here onto the canvas. Whoop, canvas is right down here. There we go. I see that. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. I can see that. That looks pretty good. Might not be completely straight. I'm not sure there. Ah, yeah, that's kind of straight. That's kind of straight. It's about as straight as I'm going to get it right there. Hey, Jessica, thank you for joining me. I appreciate that. We're going to do something just a little bit strange, a little different. We're going to see how it works, and I think it's going to work. I watched this thing earlier where uh, this person was using sand, and they were doing this different stuff, and it just kind of inspired me to want to try this with some paint and see how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shake up some green here, and I'm going to put a, a glob of green of this light green right here, another one right here, and another one right there. And then I'm going to take this darker green, and I'm going to put it right on the top of it, maybe a little more. Hope that it doesn't take over before I get the opportunity to see what this does. And then I'm going to use my spoon and I'm going to just pull this down, pull this down, and pull this down. Now, that didn't work exactly the way I thought it would, but that's okay. I'm going to wipe it off and I'm going to lay it a little flatter and pull it down. Let's try that. Well, that doesn't pull it down very far either, but we're just going to take the spoon and drag it down. There we go. And pull this one down. Just using the back of the spoon here. Okay. And then I'm going to take this fork and I'm going to See what we can do with that. I'm going to try pulling it. I'm just taking it and raking it down with the fork. This is going to be different, you guys. Very different. Let's see, I'm going to do this one from up here first. Bring this one over this way. And this one over this way. I'd like to get this to be a little bit longer over here. And a little more streaks. Okay, 
Now I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to, I'm also going to take some of this green. I'm going to get some of this darker green and I'm just going to get it on the fork. I'm just going to bring some of it. Let me see what I can do with that. Let me try this. This is going to be different. Hmm. Maybe we'll use the, the knife on this and see how that works. Or maybe I should put a little more of the light green up here. Maybe that would make a difference. Let's do that. Let's put a little more of the green right up in here. And then put a little more of the dark green on the top of it, just like we did. And this time, instead of the spoon, let's do this. Yeah, it looks like I'm making a mess, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty much so. But that's okay. I got an idea what I'm getting here. Now you're probably thinking, well, Jules, I sure don't. What are you getting at there? I want this one to be on top, though. Okay. Let's get you over here, too. Push it up this way, and then I'm going to pull it out. There we go. That's what I need to do. Push it up that way, and then pull it out. I just want to kind of get that longer look right in here. See if I can push some of this up that way. Okay, so now we've used our fork and we've used the spoon, kind of. I got a chunk right there that I'm just going to wipe off. I don't want that big chunk of green right there. Okay, very different looking, isn't it? Uh-huh. You bet it is. You bet it is. Okay, I'm going to take my knife, and I'm going to just see if I can maybe drag this side and just bring it straight down through here. About right there. And let's bring this one straight down through here to about right there. Okay. Let me wipe off my spoon. The next thing I'm going to do is get a little bit of yellow. This one's got enough yellow in it to do it. Let's put a glob of yellow right there. And we'll put a glob of yellow. Well, I need one more little glob here. There we go. All 
All right. Now we're going to take this spoon and we're just going to kind of mash it out. Don't want to blend it too much. Too. All right. It's a little bit of the green in it. I'm not worried about that. Oop, better shake up the orange. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. That's why you don't want to pour it out of the bottle, but I did. So that's what I'm doing wrong here. You're just pouring it straight out of the bottle because I thought, let's just try it. Okay, and that one did it too, but that's okay. I'm going to take this and blend it right on top of that yellow. I'm just going to pick that up right there and not worry about it. took the yellow, but that's all right. Oh, that's not the, we're just getting this going here. Now, while this is setting up here, I'm going to get some of this yellow here. And I'm going to put it on my palette. And I'm going to take a paper towel. And I'm going to pounce it around the background while I'm waiting on this to set up just a little bit. So I'm just kind of going to pounce some yellow color back in here. Oh, my little paper towels are falling off the edge of the table. But that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. And I'm not going to worry about filling it in. I'm just getting some of it on there. I just want the color to be there. You have an idea what I am actually doing yet? Not sure if I do. <laughs> Do I ever really? Who knows? Who knows? This is an experiment. And you guys are right here on the experiment trail with me. I think I'm going to get some of this on this knife. And just kind of scratch some orange in the background here. side than I expected, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. Just drag a little around the edge here. Using this here knife. Get that little 
Dreek right there and just pull him into my background, make him a part of that. Okay. I think that gives the background a pretty varied looking colored there, coloring there, so I'm just gonna wipe this off. And I'm going to get this metallic blue. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. Like that orange. It's a pretty metallic blue right in the middle of the orange. And I'm going to take this spoon and I'm just going to kind of work this down this way a little bit. Pull up that orange. Trying to spread that blue just a bit. Okay. Where's my dark blue? Do that again without spilling it. And one more time. All right. And look what we made. And we'll just take this. Right down to there. Right down to there. And using our utensils, we made some peacock feathers. I don't know, maybe I ought to put a little bit of that shiny blue in the background. I think I might like that back there too. Let's put a little metallic blue in the background. Maybe we'll make it going up and down. Yeah, I'm kind of li liking that there a lot. I'm kind of digging that blue. That metallic blue is pretty cool looking. Streak it a little further up through here. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying playing with this knife, y'all. <laughs> it's 
scraping around with this little knife. This is just a fun little knife. I'm enjoying this. Let's get a little bit more right over here. Okay. I'm bringing that back to be a more of the feather. There we go. So there we've got it. Three peacock feathers. And that's all I'm going to do to it, guys. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this. I appreciate you being with me. Thank you very much, Jessica. I appreciate that. Get your fork, knife, and spoon out and play around with some paint. Use a paper towel a little bit, too. Why not? What else are you going to do with it besides eat? You may as well do something else with it. Play with it, too. Have some fun. I appreciate you guys being here with me. I will see you again on Saturday. Let's see if we can zoom. Nope. Zoom in, zoom you out. There we go. I'm telling you. You never know. You might end up looking at the ceiling. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, there it is. Still pretty wet, still pretty thick. I don't want to tilt it too much because that blue's pretty thick on there. You can kind of see it. I'm going to let that dry. I think it looks really pretty. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you very much. I will see you again real soon. Bye.